Hello and welcome to the Advanced Dynamics and Control Lab, Department of Mechanical Engineering, College of Engineering, Trivandrum. If you want to know more about us, about the facilities which we are offering, the courses which are offered by us, you may please visit our website www.adclcet.in. In today's video session, I will be demonstrating to you the basic equipments which are going to be used for performing model testing. In today's lecture, we will see how to perform a model analysis on a cantilever beam. The test specimen which is going to be used today will be a stainless steel rod as you can see over here. The stainless steel rod is going to be fixed at one end and it is forming a cantilever configuration. Now I will explain to you the basic equipments which we are going to use for performing model test on the stainless steel beam which I have shown. First of all, the main equipment which we will be using is a ceramic shear accelerometer. This is a ceramic shear IEP type accelerometer and this accelerometer is of the make of PCB. If you observe this accelerometer, it has got a connection terminal which is of micro dot type of at one end and the other end it will be PNC out. This accelerometer is having the following specification. It is having a sensitivity of 100 millivolt per G which is equal to 10.2 millivolt per meter per second square. It is having a frequency range of 0.5 hertz to 10 kilohertz. And it is having a measurement range of plus or minus 50 G. And that is all about this accelerometer. And if you observe, this accelerometer has got a black base. And this black base is used for mounting purpose. You can use any standard adhesives for mounting this accelerometer. As you can see, if this is the test specimen which I have shown you before. And if you're going to mount this accelerometer like this, this is going to be fixed onto the surface by means of any standard analysis. That's all about the accelerometer. Now, the next equipment which we are go, going to use today is a moderately tuned impact hammer. A moderately tuned impact hammer is used for exciting the vibration frequencies of the test specimen. This impact hammer is of the make of PCB USA the same make of the accelerometer which I have shown you before. This motley tuned impact hammer is having the following specification. It is having a measurement range of plus or minus 2200 Newton force or it is equivalent to about 500 pound force peak to peak. This impact hammer is having a sensitivity of 10 millivolt per pound which is equivalent to almost 2.25 Newton per Point, sorry, 2.25 millivolt per Newton and if you observe this impact hammer it is having a BNC out and also it is having if you observe a black portion which is the impact tip I can unmount this impact tip very easily and I can use impact tips of different materials the impact tip selection is based on the frequency range of excitation for example if you are interested in exciting a broadband frequency, especially of the high range, you may use a metallic tip. But if you are interested in the lower range, you can use a soft tip for this impact hammer. That's all about moderately tuned impact hammer. The next most important equipment in model analysis is a dynamic signal accuracy system. You can see over here that this is a National Instruments Data Acquisition System of the number 4431. NI4431 is a DSA module which is having four analog input channels having 102.5 kilo samples per second sampling rate at each simultaneous sampling rate and it is also having an analog output which is around 96 kilo samples per second it is a 24 bit adc and it is very efficient for our experiment and the main advantage of this device it is highly portable and also it is having a usb interface and that's about the equipments which are going to be used in model analysis <laughs> 